Hey, it's Dean here, and I want to share with you today a very simple strategy that will help you hold your ideal customer's attention for longer. So before we get into the video, please like and subscribe this video. It helps us get seen and get noticed by other people. So uh, let's get into what is the gap strategy. You may have heard of this thing of the gap and talking about the gap, uh, but never really figured out how to implement this and how this works in your scenario, in your business and the way you want to use it. Now the gap strategy will work in any scenario where you want to hold the reader, the watcher, the customer's attention in person, on the phone, on email, it works. It's a proven strategy because it's based on human nature. And it's a very, very simple strategy. A lot of people overlook the power of it, but it's so, so powerful. In anything that you're doing, anything that you're doing to communicate and engage with a target audience, you have to remind them of where they are and where you or your product or your service can take them. And you have to keep reminding them of that gap. Let me give you a scenario. If you're running webinars, perhaps you're running an online training or online webinar or something like that, and you want more of your webinar audience to stay to the end, because we all know that people drop off quite quickly and people don't show up for webinars. So if I was hosting a webinar and I wanted more people to show up, guess what I'd be doing? In my email communications, I would be reminding the attendees that have registered why they should attend and reminding them of what they're going to get from the webinar and the frustration or problem they might have right now. Perhaps you're watching this and going, how do I get uh, my customer's attention for longer? Perhaps you've been ghosted. Perhaps you've received objections to your product or service and you don't know how to counter them. What the gap will allow you to do is to remind people of the outcomes that you can get them. So in my scenario, I can say, well, if you use the gap, you will find that people will pay more attention. You will see that they, they will get the value you bring to them because where they are now and where they could be, where they are now, where they could be, there's a gap between those two places. If I'm broke right now and want to be a millionaire and I wanted to, and this is what a lot of internet scammers do, they will say, if you want a six figure income and all this BS, and they will convince people to buy their course uh, because they're saying that they'll make them a millionaire or they'll show them how to be a millionaire. You can ethically use the gap and it's used by retailers, it's used by financial institutions. It's a common marketing principle and copywriting principle to remind people of the gap. So you need to learn and adopt the gap if you want to hold people's attention for longer. So. What is the gap? It's a simple strategy you can use to remind people of where they are now and where they can be with your product, service or solution. It will keep people engaged for longer and it will help people see the need and value for your service, your product, your business and you as a person. So use it in conversation, use it in videos, use it in podcasts, use it on emails, use it on social posts. It works in every arena. But when you use the gap, you will hold your prospects' attention for longer. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe. And if there's anything else you go, I wish I could have the answer to this, or I wish I could get your perspective on this, please comment. And I will be happy to take your comments and figure out and put a video together for you. So thank you for watching and don't forget.